chasing the police every single day. Hello, uh, uh, today is the day uh, that, can I get my, uh, the illegal investigation you've done on me? I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Sheriff County Sheriff illegally investigated me and uh, t uh, it's uh, over the statute today so I can ask for the records on that now. Okay, did uh, you file a request with our Fort Myers office? Uh, no, I was, I was, since you guys are dealing with it, I thought you could uh, just give it to me here. Yeah. Right, so I we can't, the investigation you're doing on me that you have here, you can't give it to me here. No, it has to come through them, the, Fort Myers. So the Sunshine Law states that, that I can't ask you? That, in fact, actually, that sign right there says I can ask you, right? That sign that says for public records, see the receptionist, and that's why. I'll, okay, so, that, that. so that's what the sign means? You point at yes. that and this? I give you that. Right. All right, so I can make the request and then I can ask them to send it here. That's correct. Even though it's already here, I'm sure. I don't, I don't even know anything about it. So right, yeah. all right. Um, Jake, well, Jacob Hawkins, a detective for Charlotte County Sheriff, illegally investigated me, and uh, I'd like to get that investigation. Okay, well, you, you can request it through the Fort Myers office. Right. Uh, can, I, can I speak to the investigator on it? Were you the investigator on it? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I was going to come here to make a records request. Uh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, Charlotte County Sheriff uh, Detective Jacob Hawkins illegally investigated me uh, for broadcasting a victim's name, which is bullcrap. That's for government. That's not for okay. reporters. Yeah, I've talked about it. Yes. Before, okay, I've okay guess what? Guess what happened today? Happened it's today? a second-degree misdemeanor. Mm -hmm. You have one year to file. Guess what today is? This is the day after the year. They did not file. So that means you're, you can't file. I want the investigation. We are we are dying to get it to see how many rights you violated of mine. Have you filed a open public records request? So since the office? so since I figured you know I'm here, mm -hmm. the the day is up. I would come here because I'm excited. My wife is excited. You didn't you didn't illegally you know unlawfully arrest me you know on a legal investigation? Right. So I thought I would come here make the records, and you know even with your new sign. I mean, obviously, we have certain procedures that have to be right. filed for a public record request. Were you able to get one of the forms? Uh, the I, I got it. So what, if I call right now, and then, because I'm sure you guys got the file here. I, I don't know the answer to that. Right. So I can call this right now and then and say, can you give it to her to give to me? Uh, well, if you follow the instructions here, you can call. Right. Okay. Right. You can send, you can fax a request. You right. You can stop by in person. Right. You can even send them a regular mail request. Uh, mail sucks balls. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously, they're going to need a, a detailed request Correct. from you. Correct. As to exactly what you're looking Correct. for. By the way, so what's up with this new thing here? What, what are we doing here? This is your picture, your fingerprint, everything. Well, let's see here. Did you, have you says, played with this? It says, please follow the prompts. Sign right. your full name. The person that you're here to meet with is your host. Right. Okay, so if I just walk in, I don't have to give away all my information there. Um, like if I'm doing what I'm doing today. It says sign in with your full name, so obviously you need to use the name. All right. So if I'm just here to make a records request, then I don't get to do that. No. All I'm right. Here if you're here to meet with someone. All right. Actually, I do get another question for you. Were you one of the guys that worked on the investigation on James White, Shire County Sheriff Detectives? Getting date rape drugs from China and then selling it to people here. Did you did you help out at all with that? I haven't been here that long, so all that right. Doesn't sound familiar, no. I know you. I, we, I talked to you months ago, right? I've been here since um, April, maybe. Okay, so this is a question I'm going to ask you. This it's insane. The, did you ever read the report? FDLE said arrest this prick. He's dirty. But they had probable cause. Okay, sheriff didn't arrest him. FDLE didn't arrest him. A cop wouldn't arrest him. You know, they're saying that you, they have to ask the state attorney first. That's bull crap. The, the, we have the report. It says arrest him. He's dirty, okay? Nobody would arrest him. Then they give it to the state attorney's office, and then they drop all charges, even though you had tons of evidence. Okay, so this is what we think happened. When Russell was in, 
We, he was friends with the sheriff. We think he got him to drop it because they were buddies. Okay, how do we get it to resubmit that? You know what I'm saying? Well, resubmit it to a Meyer Fox. Maybe a Meyer Fox will do it. Well, get who to resubmit it? I'm not, I'm not following. How do, how, how do we take that FDLA report, which got lots of good stuff in it? It proves that he bought it, tracked it, everything, right? He's a criminal, okay? All right? They didn't, they didn't arrest him. He's still got his license. He's out there free. It's insane, okay? How do we get, take that report, resubmit it to you guys to hopefully investigate it this time and arrest him? If the investigation is closed, I don't think you can. Actually, this is what the investigation states. If there is any more information, we might reconsider. Do you have any additional information? Okay, that's what I'm asking you. Oh. Where's many, many people like me, I'm not the only one that you know does cop watch reporter. I'm, there, people are pissed off at government corruption, right? So we are going to investigate farther. So if we cannot trust, if we find evidence, okay, we cannot trust giving it to the sheriff because he's, he's, he's a corrupt piece of shit. I'm just telling you, he you is. Said, you just said FDLE did the investigation? Yes. Then I would suggest that you touch base with FDLE and find out exactly what their procedures would be in that regard. That was, that's funny you say that. I was there yesterday, and that didn't go well either in the interview. It was, it was bizarre. You know what they said? They said, give the, give the information to the sheriff. I said, we can't trust the sheriff. He didn't even arrest the guy. He, he probably let the guy know ahead of time so he could get out of it somehow. It, and from what we're getting on tips, he was selling date rape drugs to half the force. Because it's actually, a, a, you know, it's for bodybuilding, too. You know what I'm saying? If you have any additional information, anything new, right? Space with either FDLE, the sheriff's office, right? Okay. And if they're going, if they reopen the investigation, but do you get what I'm saying? How we can't give it to the sheriff because he's corrupt. Do you? Do you? Do you want? Do you would? Okay. If the sheriff is really corrupt, would you give them the information? Well, I don't. I don't know if the sheriff is corrupt or he's really not corrupt. corrupt. Or Re very, very corrupt. Extremely corrupt. So but obviously, any time that an investigation is initiated, right. it would be initiated either at the sheriff's office right. or the FDLE. This is how corrupt he is. I just went there the other day. I've read all the reports on this. I filed an internal investigation against the sheriff for neglect, re, neglect of duty. Did not do his job and arrest him. Do you think they will actually investigate him with internal investigations? What did they tell you? Uh, actually, they just took the paper and said, we'll get back to you. Okay. Well, That's, I'm sure they'll get back to you. Do you think they'll do anything? I can't answer. It's kind of like asking a mafia to investigate itself, right? Yeah, it's anyway. assessment. Right. All right. Do you get a business card? I do. All right. I'll trade you again. Or do you still got mine? I don't know if I ever got yours. <laughs> Are you one of the good guys? Meaning? All right, you're one of the good ones, constitutionalists, you hate corruption. If you see a corrupt cop, a corrupt deputy, you will bust them. I work for the state attorney's office. That should answer your question. Of mm, course. I know, but the state attorney before with we, Russell we, dropped we it. We are the good guys. I know, but you dropped the case on the guy. You had all the evidence for FDLE. I, I can't discuss that case with you. Okay, do you agree if you had all the evidence, you dropped it, something's wrong? I don't wrong. know what the evidence was, so I can't answer that question for you. Do you got an email on here? I could, we, just, we just paid to get all the evidence. Okay. You got an email here? I have an email. Can I send you it? We just put it on Google Drive for That's everybody to see. That is your prerogative if you want to email. I would appreciate If I sent it, would you, would you look at it? If you send me an email, I'm going to read the email, of course. All right, I'm going to send it to you because we just paid money. But again, I'm going to direct you that if right. you have additional information, right. you should believe that the investigation should be reopened. I know. And you then? To, you go to FDLE or you go to the sheriff's Okay, office. FDLE is fair, so I can't bring it to you. You go to FDLE, they conduct the initial investigation. If you have additional information, you give it to them. Can I, can I do both of you just so you know that FDLE is not, that FDLE is not giving it to you? You got it just in case they're... Cheating? If you give it to FDLE, FDLE will forward it as appropriate. Right. I, the interview I had with them yesterday did not go well. I don't know if I trust that. Yeah, I'm serious. It did not go well. They're well, telling me to trust the sheriff who didn't arrest the cop. I can't tell you who to trust or who not to trust. Right. But if they leave, FDLE is giving you that guidance, and that's right. the guidance you should follow. So did you ever arrest a cop or a bad cop or deputy yet? We have been involved in, in arrests of officers, yes. Really? Here? Or someplace else? Someplace else. Can I ask where you used to work? New Jersey. Damn, can I shake your hand? Thank you very much. You're one of the first ones, and I actually have heard admit that, because it's so bad here.
I've been doing it six years. It's not BS. It's bad. Can you bring some more of you guys down? Okay. Well, the state attorney's office has been involved in police investigations in the past. Okay. It's bad, dude. I'm I'm not lying. It's bad. It's ba I'm just glad to hear that you actually participated somewhere to do it. It needs to happen here. It, it has happened here. Which one? You, use your resources and look it up. Which one? I don't, I don't remember any of them. Here in Charlotte County? Not here in Charlotte County, in the 20th Judicial. That's fair. I'll do a records request. That's fair. All right, good to meet you, man. Thank you. Thanks for being fair. Yep. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.